Good morning, folks. Starting in Japan with strontium now added to the list of radioactive material in the groundwater. Mass fish die off in the southern Caribbean. The birds are refusing to eat the dead fish. Revisiting the state of flux page. Got some new images on there. They have climate before and afters all over the world. Preview icons pop up when you scroll across the map. This is the result of a dam. Checking on the U.S. climate extremes, as a complement to the frigid records they've seen the last two winters in Europe, India, and Russia, the U.S. swings colder this year. You can see heat records dwarfing everything from last year, but cold is ahead in 2013, and actually precipitation is stomping them both. Many of you yesterday said, hey, that storm looks counterclockwise, not clockwise. Well, yes, that small high-level system did, but the focus is on the large high-pressure cell in the eastern United States. It's driving that larger air mass in a clockwise direction, and this is also why that storm was moving west across the country at the southern edge of the clockwise drive. Top weather news is Tropical Storm Cimarron, southern Taiwan and mainland China will feel the worst of this for the rest of the week. Also have some development in the Gulf. Not really easily visible here, but it is expected to dump a lot of rain just south of the border as it makes landfall. Solar flaring definitively declining. First, southern delta spots are decaying and not really dangerous anymore. This will be shred by new active regions on either side of him. Up north we see major decay as well. No magnetic mixing on the earth facing disk. A solar wind shows a day of steady plasma density and calming speed. Timid trembles return to a nice curve on magnetometers and on the energetic flux. You remember a number of little CMEs reported yesterday? Very little. NASA thinks little of these ones at all, but does indeed expect a glancing blow. Satellite images right now are focused more on the larger limb eruptions headed away from Earth. Well, this is day three of the earthquake watch. We caught the seven pointer near Antarctica, and now we've wrapped a week's average worth of quaking into less than 40 hours. Had two more six pointers, some aftershocks near Antarctica, also had rumbling in Africa and north in North America. Got some changes to Helio Viewer. They appear to have added the Heliophysics event registry to this, at least part of it which will appear within your created sun movies, whichever you've picked. Now in the future I will integrate this, but right now the registry is on point, but the actual solar images are lagging from yesterday. And with that corona hole up north, the quake watch will continue. See if you can spot the lens damage on the SDO 304 coming up. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.